Hello everyone. I'm so sorry I can't be with you tonight. However, I couldn't completely miss the chance to take a moment to share some thoughts with all of you. The lesson I cherish the most is how important it is to love what you do. If you love what you do and it's making you happy, all the hard work and perseverance will pay off. I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. I think that's what greatness is or should be. It's, it's not something that's, that, that lives and dies with one person. It's how can you inspire a person to then in turn inspire another person that then inspires another person. And that's how you create something that I think lasts forever. And uh, I think that's our challenge as people is to figure out how our story can impact others and motivate them in a way to create their own greatness. You know, when you're in, a, in this culture, in our society, you can do some phenomenal things individually, but they'll never reach their full potential unless you do them collectively. The rest at the end, not in the middle. And that's something I always live by. I'm not gonna rest, I'm gonna keep on pushing now. There are a lot of answers that I don't have, even questions that I don't have, but I'm just gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going and I'll figure these things out as you go, right? And you just continue to build that way. The thing for me is to leave no stone unturned, get better every single day. And if I live that way, then over time, you know, I'd have something that was beautiful. Um, what I've learned is to, to, to always keep going, always. You know, there's, there's been times, particularly early in my career, where it just feels like this is the end. Um, but what I've come to find out is that, you know, no matter what happens, the storm eventually ends. And when a storm does end, you want to make sure that you're ready. And so uh, I've really learned to put one foot in front of the other, uh, good, bad, or indifferent, because eventually that storm passes. Have a good time. Enjoy life. And it's, um, life is too short to, to, to get bogged down and be discouraged. Or um, You have to keep moving. You have to keep going. Put one foot in front of the other, smile, and just keep on rolling. The right there, basketball was different. And uh, I didn't know if I could do it, man. You know, it was my daughter who kind of put things in perspective for me, Gianna. She's now 13, and she was like, well, you, know, you always tell us to go for it. She was like, you're going to talk about it? You're going to be about it, basically. And, you know, and that, that gave me the final push. <sighs> what does love feel like? Happiness is such a thing I would describe love as happiness. I think I'd describe it as a beautiful journey. Mm. You know, it has its ups and downs. Right, whether it's in marriage, whether it's in the career, things are never perfect. But through love, you continue to persevere and you move through them, you move through them. And then through that storm, beautiful sun emerges. Yeah. And inevitably another storm comes. And guess what? You ride that one out too. So I think love is a certain determination and persistence to go through the good times and the bad times with the someone or something that you truly love. It's hard to pinpoint it. What exactly makes a person the one for you? But you just know. I mean, love is a funny thing. I can't explain it and I don't understand it. Um, but all I know is she caught my heart and I just knew that she was the one. Yeah, you know, Vanessa, she's very strong. Uh, she's very strong willed. You have to dance beautifully in the box that you are comfortable dancing in. So, like, everybody's box is different. My box was to be extremely ambitious within the sport of basketball. Your box, it's different to me, right? Every kid here has their own box, but it doesn't mean that your box isn't as beautiful as mine. I just dream, I dream, yeah, I have dreams, and you know, dreams is, uh, they should be pure. And I, and I think a lot of times you know, when we're born into this world, we actually wind up going backwards. And it seems like the more we mature, uh, the more responsible our dreams become more governors we put on ourselves and our ability to dream and to reimagine. And it's always a fight for us parents and for you guys to make sure that your dreams always stay pure. It's really a matter of protecting your dreams, protecting your imagination. That's really the key. And when you do that, then the world just seems limitless. You can't stop people from trying to limit your dreams, but you can stop it from becoming a reality. Your dreams are up to you. I encourage you to always be curious, always seek out things you love, and always work hard once you find it. So with that, I'll let you carry on with your evening. Please know I'm thinking of you, supporting you, and encouraging you always. Peace.